boys and girls welcome back to my youtube channel today i want to have a look at auto world chassis especially four gear and also magnet traction because it's always said that they don't run well they're too loud their gear doesn't work properly um which is not really true because with one or two little nicks you can make them run really really well and i think we're gonna have a look at that today see ya okay so here we are the well-known workspace again um what I'm going to show you is how to get rid of this wobble here. Because this wobble is exactly what you don't want. The more quiet the gear runs, the more quiet the top plate, the more quiet the whole chassis, the faster your times. We've got here extraction chassis, top plate, extraction chassis. And four gear chassis, those with a rivet in are not worked on. And if you look close, you can see here, there's a screw in and over there, there's a black screw. That's one possibility to get your gear run more quiet. I'm going to show you the how to, how do you get the rivet out and how do you get the screw in? What I use to get the rivet out is this gear press. Actually, it's a, sorry, it's a rim press where you get usually the rim of the axle. But you can also use it to get this rivet out of the chassis. So that's the way to do it. You can see it here. And you just push it through and it comes out on that side. I'm not going to do it now. I want to keep the rivet in. If you did this, you've got the gear loose of course from the top plate you put the rivet aside and instead of the rivet you use a screw I've got screws back there give me a second here they are I'm either using M2 screws sorry I'm European metric size M2 or uh, an M1.6 the difference is if you use an M2 you need to drill the hole in the gear a little bigger. If you use an M, uh, M1.6, that's a perfect size. The length you need is between, well, not between, it's either five or six millimeters length if you want to order screws. So what you actually do is, again, the rivet is gone here. You just put the screw through. And on the other side, where the rivet end is, you just tighten the screw uh, and fix it to that side. The good thing is you can adjust with that screw exactly the wobble and the, the spin, the free, how freely the gear spins very, very precisely and very exactly. And that way you can really gain or have a make a difference uh, to the wobbly gear you get when you take the car out of the box there is a second possibility on how to do it uh, I want to show you this is also a gear press down here I have this small plastic ball the plastic ball comes from a sewing needle. Just cut off the needle. And the way to do it is, hope this works now. Yep. This is the way to do it. You keep the ball underneath and you press now and tighten the rivet very softly and you just try it turn after turn and that way you get rid of this wobble or minimize it to your likings so this is the way to do it this works for magnet traction XT magnet traction or also for the four gear chassis both possibilities are tested 
and they do work really well, believe me, especially on drag strips. The higher the volts, I would tend to go for the screw um, because you can really, really adjust it to your likings very easily and very fine. Okay, hope this helped you on. See you next time.